And can you open your mouth and say, ah? Uh, ah. Uh. Excellent. Any pain? Mm. Scenes like this take place every day in doctor's offices. And at Einstein Medical Center, that's exactly what this is, a scene. The doctor is a medical student and the patient an actor. Any pain right there? Okay. At facilities around the country, medical schools employ standardized patients, or SPs, who are often professional actors, to give students an education into the real world. We are creating characters with the information that the medical school will give us. In order for it to be effective, we as actors have to truly believe that we're in the pain that we're in and we, we need the help that we need. You have certain lines that, you know, like when they ask this, you should say this to keep it standardized for all the students to give them equal opportunity. And also it's videotaped, so the students get to go back later and look and watch and see. And also I'm grading the students as well, not only on like their history taking and their physical exam skills, but most importantly on how they made me feel as a patient. Testing scenarios range from simple office visits to comforting family members that might have just lost a loved one. The cases are full of details and clues that the students must navigate to find the right diagnosis or response. Perfect, excellent. And sometimes there are red herrings, right? Sometimes there's information that you think is significant, but in fact, it's in there to send them down the wrong path and to trap them. What, uh, when the stomach pain first happened, what were you doing at the time? Uh, I had just finished lunch. Okay. And it kind of came on as I was in my office. Oh, how severe is this pain? Uh, it's probably a six or a seven. Okay. Using this kind of modality for assessment has really become the sort of gold standard, if you will, in medical education. And ultimately, in their fourth year, the students have to pass a 12 encounter standardized patient test to get a license in this country. I would say the first time I ever worked with an SP, it was a little daunting. Um, I didn't really even know what to do other than to say, hi, my name is Luke. And it won't be my heart, will it? Oh, what's going on with your heart? Are you, are you concerned about this being... Well, I just, my father had, had a heart attack and died of it, so I was, right. I guess, just wanted to make sure that I don't know if anything in the stomach is about the harder. I think that's kind of the reality of what the healthcare system is now. We have to make these very empathetic interactions happen very quickly and get the information as quickly as possible while still trying to maintain our humanity and um, everything that people expect of doctors. According to the 2016 Medscape Physician Compensation Report, most patients only have 13 to 15 minutes with their doctor in an average appointment. Doctors have to learn to be efficient in that time, but also develop a bedside manner. Hi, Ms. Rivera. My name is Monica Jenkins. I'm a medical student. I'm working with your doctors today. My favorite roles to play and what I get cast in a lot is um, adolescent roles. It's an acting exercise for me to just kind of be like disinterested. I'm like, I don't really want to be here. Why do you think your mom wanted you to come in? I don't know. Like, I've been having these headaches, but like, I don't think it's like a big deal, but whatever. She said I should come in. Can you tell me some more about the headache? Um, I don't know, it's like a headache. Well, how do you explain that? We're really asking them to use multiple parts of their brain at once because they are concentrating on being another person and truly being in that role. At the same time, they have to remember, did the student ask me if I had a fever? Did the student ask me what medicines I take? And how did the student ask me that? To watch them do what they do and to see how fabulous they are at it is remarkable. The standardized patient work, it's like immediate gratification and reward because you are affecting a student, you're affecting future doctors of the world, and in that sense, the world itself because of all the patients, and it's just such a rippling effect. I love this work, love it. Watch this next episode about a group of grad students who are developing a game-changing technology by converting a cell phone camera into a microscope. <laughs>